According to latest reports, Lockheed Martin has submitted a proposal for preliminary interest to supply F-21 fighter jets under the $18 billion MMRCA tender, and winning the fighter jet order will result in participation of 400 Indian companies to supply 114 modern fighter jets to the Indian Air Force. The next stage in the procurement will be filing an expression of interest, and the company is keen to go ahead in the competition against F-A-18 of Boeing, Rafale fighter jet of Dassault Aviation, and the Russian MiG-35. According to latest reports, the DRDO has successfully tested the land version of Brahmo's supersonic cruise system with a high rate of precision and accuracy, and officials have said that the test has validated its deep penetration capability and accurate engagement of targets at 290 km. The Brahmo's system tested today was fitted with increased indigenous equipment to cut down on the import costs. The chairman of Hindustan Shipyard Limited has said that Hindustan Shipyard has submitted an expression of interest to build six submarines under P-75I, in collaboration with Adani Defence System and Technologies Limited. He also said that Hindustan Shipyard has signed a comprehensive memorandum of understanding with Russia's United Shipbuilding Corporation to provide technical and logistics support for works such as refits and upgrades. He also added that India's first ocean surveillance ship has already completed sea trials successfully, and the project will be ready by the end of 2019. After completing five successful tests of the indigenous Astra Mark I air-to-air -air system from Su-30 fighter jets, officials have said that the DRDO will soon begin testing the 110 km range Astra Mark I from the Tejas fighter jet. The RDO expects an initial order of 200 Mark I systems from the Indian Air Force. And is also working on the next version of Astra system with an enhanced 160 km range. The Turkish president attended a dual ceremony yesterday, which was held for commissioning a new Turkish naval ship, and starting the construction of the first Milgem class corvette that will be sold to Pakistan. As per latest reports, two corvettes will be built in Turkey, while the next two will be built in Pakistan through technology transfer. The corvettes have a maximum speed of 29 knots and range of 3,500 km, and is equipped with harpoon systems and anti-submarine torpedoes. The European defence manufacturer MBDA has said, that the company is proud that the advanced Exocet SM-39 anti-ship system has been integrated on INS Kandari, while on the other hand, the integration of the Mistral systems on the Druf advanced helicopters and the light combat helicopter has also been completed successfully. MBDA has also signed an agreement with Bharat Dynamics Limited for the final assembly integration and testing of Mistral systems and the advanced short-range air-to-air systems in India. Thank <laughs> you.